thank you for tuning in for this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the GMS, the Griffin Micro Site. Uh, this is a pretty cool site. It is a red dot site. It's an acro footprint, which is, in my opinion, the best footprint for a dot like this. This is a fully enclosed dot. So whereas with the Dr. Optic sites of the, you know, yesteryear and some of those open kind of L-shaped sites, you had to worry about snow or dirt or something, including your electrode, uh, your holographic electrode thing. This is fully enclosed, so you don't have that, that, that issue or that concern. Um, it is also a 50,000 hour battery life unit. It features a single CR2032 battery. Um, the Griffin microsite comes in uh, a red or a green dot, three MOA dot. Um, I've looked in both, I think they're both nice. So it just comes down to personal preference probably. Um, this features 10 different brightness settings. There's a little soft switch on the side so that you can toggle up and down. You know, obviously press hold to turn it on, toggle up and down. Uh, it has an auto off feature. So if you leave it on, no big deal. Um, a, it's gonna have a super long battery life, so no big deal. But also B, it'll go auto off. It also has a shake awake feature. So if you shake it, it'll wake up if you didn't actually do a hard off the last time you threw it away. So that's pretty cool as well. It's also IPX7 water resistant and it's shockproof uh, for 1200 G's. So you can you know, piggyback this on a 50 cal or whatever you wanna do with it. Um, so pretty cool site. Uh, it has pistol application as well as carbine application. I've got it obviously on this Glock 34 here, which is a decent platform actually for a red dot optic. Um, pretty accurate little laser beam there. And I also have it on this Griffin Mark I here. So you can see what it looks like piggybacked on our Griffin Ideal Carbon Optic, our low power variable optic one to eight. So it's on the 12 o'clock position here, but you can also mount this right side, left side on these Griffin mounts. But just a really nice optic, again, covered by a great Griffin Armament warranty. So if you ever do have any issues at all, then no big deal. Just contact us, we'll take care of it. Um, lastly, I just wanna go over a quick unboxing for you. So this is what your unit is actually going to look like when you get it in your eager hands. Um, it features a inspection sticker on it so that we can trace what employee, what team member actually touched your optic last and a seal so that you know that you are the first person touching it um, from our tech inspection. That's kind of important. So if your seal is broken, um, it shouldn't be, contact us. But anyway, so I'm gonna just razor blade this seal open quick and open this up. So this has a little QR code in it, a little manual card. One side is a, is a manual, the other side is a video, this video actually. So there's that. Also a microfiber towel, little microfiber Griffin towel. Um, this is just a nice little freebie, but um, it should not be your only tool for lens maintenance. Um, you're gonna want to use a little air puffer, little air, air thing. Also a little camera brush to brush your debris off there, air puff it off. Then you wanna introduce water, you know, a spritzer or something like that, um, a Windex, something like that to the lens, and then do the microfiber polish. And then finally follow it up with that felt tip polishing. You know, if you wanna do proper lens maintenance, we'll do another video on that. Um, so this should not be the only thing you use for that. Um, but it comes with the thing you're actually buying, right? That's the biggest thing that matters. Um, is the Griffin Microsite itself. It comes with a riser mount, okay? So if you wanna put this on a carbine, use the included riser mount, okay, that's already included. It's nice. We also have QD riser mounts that we're coming out with, the Griffin's coming out with, um, in various different heights for different stuff. Um, comes with your tools, your adjustments, etc., stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much, that pretty much covers the unboxing. My personal thoughts on this optic, you know, after looking through optics for 20 years, uh, all the way back from the first optic, the doctor optic, and then all the other stuff along the way, from the different companies, is that I think it has a really clear picture. It doesn't have like a weird blue or green tint or anything weird to it. It has kind of just like a nice natural color, kind of like naked eye, which is ideal for me. I, I don't like my sight picture getting some weird hue to it. So it's got a really nice sight picture. Glass is clean, uh, anti-reflective, and the dot is pretty crisp. I like to turn my dot down as far as I can and still see it given the current conditions. 
Um, but if you turn it down to the appropriate condition, I don't see any you know blooming or weird you know twists or whatever that people talk about over the years that you've heard. Um, I, I feel like it's a really clean dot. So that is a quick breakdown of the product. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, please tell someone about it. Thanks for watching.